That's a girl. That's a girl. This is what my chickens love. They love these dried mealworms. I think they're freeze dried. Anyway, look at that. Aren't they gross looking? Ooh, they look like they're moving. <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> but uh, what's really interesting about this is uh, it says best used by uh, 2020, January 1st, 2020. <laughs> and I, I find that amusing. Uh, not that the chickens care. But uh, these could be in a Pharaoh's tomb for 10,000 years and they would still look like that and the chickens would still love them. But anyway, dried mealworms, lots of fun. Hi everybody, Gary Olson, Backyard Chicken Operation. And uh, I get a lot of questions from people on Facebook uh, saying, uh, how much work really is involved in raising chickens? Well there's more than you think and I wanted to kind of illuminate some of the aspects of uh, uh, raising chickens full disclosure uh, they poop a lot so uh, I've got a schedule uh, cleaning out the cage every week I usually do it on Monday morning and uh, well let's get started what's nice about this coop is I can gain access to the entire interior of the coop I can't get inside I wish I could then I could get the stuff out a little better but the whole end of the coop drops down so I can get my tools in to start moving the straw around. Here are all the tools of my trade. I have four buckets, five gallon buckets of straw, special sanitized straw that I get uh, from Hendrix Feed and seed and straw apparently. And that is uh, sufficient enough to cover the floor space of the entire coop. Uh, we have a uh, 16 gallon craftsman shop back. I've got my scoop shovel which is invaluable. A hole to extract all the straw from the floor of the uh, coop and uh, I've got two flexible uh, trash buckets. These trash buckets are collapsible and you'll see how valuable they are in the operation. Hey uh, you guys gotta get out because I don't want to suck you up in the vacuum cleaner. Alright there we go. All right, everybody out. Every <laughs> Naturally, they're curious about everything. And uh, yep, there we go. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to, you have to abandon the premises. We're going to fumigate. Okay, guys, try to stay out of my way. I don't want to suck you up in the vacuum cleaner like I did one time. No, that's not true. I didn't do that. Okay, now here's where this comes in super handy. It's flexible. I can bend it down like that. Get it right under the lip of the coop. And then, this is where they roost at night, so. So all this is going to go up to the composter. Here's another advantage here with these flexible pails. I can put them inside and squeeze them down and get them right underneath that. And then I can break out the nest boxes. Oh, oh, oh. The nice thing about this is I can take the dividers out like that and then I can uh, go in through the other side and break out the nest box. I still worry about the wind blowing the coop away so I put those paving stones in there to not only raise the uh, food and water vessels 
but uh, also give some weight to this coop so it doesn't fly away or, or tip over in a high, high wind. We get that a lot here in Iowa, have this summer particularly. Okay, we've taken care of phase one, which is getting all of the uh, manure and the straw out of the coop, most of it, and we're never gonna get all of it, but now we're going to vacuum. Okay, all right, now we're going to uh, put the fresh straw in, and I am excited about that because I like to just toss it in, and like I say, you don't uh, have to be particular because they'll spread it out. Well, that's it. Clean coop. And it only took us about an hour and 15 minutes because we were filming after all. But uh, usually it takes about 30 minutes. And um, you'll have a happy bunch of chickens. Should. Okay, where are you guys? Where are you? I finished. Where are you? I cleaned the coop. It's all set. There's food here, water. Uh, there's somewhere in the yard. Plenty of places for him to hide.